The following is a copyright presentation of Totown Communications Company Limited, a division of Totown Communications Group Japan and Totown Digital Media. All rights reserved. Japan Journal with Mal Adams, the number one weekly online cybercast from Japan. This week's edition, the Democratic Global Primary in Nagoya, Japan. Japan for Obama. Yes, we can. Check it out. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung. It was sung by immigrants. As they struck out the Pacific Shore, pioneers who pushed westward. I know it's a secret ballad, my brother, but uh, it's <laughs> my ballad. Uh, yeah. It's my ballad. Uh, yeah. so tell your mama about Barack Obama. Born away from the promised land, just yes, we can, can. for justice and yes, equality. We yes, we yes, we can. 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 The opportunity and prosperity. Yes, we can. The opportunity and prosperity. Yes, stick it in. You gotta stick it in there halfway and hold it. Yeah, that's the way we do. Yes, we can. 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 Yes 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 we can. We know the battle ahead will be long. But always remember that no matter what obstacles stand in our way, nothing can stand in the way of the power of millions. Voices calling for change. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Japan Journal, the number one weekly online cybercast from Japan. I'm Mal Adams, and I'm here in the presence today of Mr. Paul Smith, who is the chairman of the Democrats in Japan. Is that no, I'm the chairman only of the Tokai chapter of Democrats abroad Japan. Correction, noted. <laughs> chairman of the Tokai chapter. For those of you who don't know, Tokai is the western region, kind of like Midwest in Japan. We're here in Nagoya, the fourth largest city in Japan. And uh, as you just saw, Mr. Gary T. Love Williams was the first person to vote here. My homeboy from Omaha, Nebraska. All right, let's hear it from Nebraska. Where, by the way, yes. the caucus going on, I think, today. Yes, or it is. In Nebraska. In fact. Just a word here with the chairman. Uh, first of all, congratulations. And I want to thank, well, thank you, you personally thank you. for uh, your patriotism, your support, your volunteerism <laughs> spirit, and uh, providing a mechanism for us to exercise our right in this very crucial election. It's important for everybody. Indeed, indeed. So uh, tell me a little bit about this situation uh, and, the, and the international network of uh, Democrats. Okay. Well, Democrats Abroad, first of all, is a worldwide organization that's actually a, officially a part of the Democratic Party, okay? And there are chapters, I believe, in over a hundred countries worldwide. It's a, an organization specifically for Americans who support the Democratic Party but who live outside the United States, okay? And uh, here in Japan, there are chapters in Tokyo, Kansai, and here in the Tokyo region. <laughs> Kyoto is part of the Kansai region. Yeah, yeah. Um, so tell me, what is the procedure here? We have two or three methods by which we can vote. That's it. One is online. Right. Uh, right. Actually, actually um, one, one of the options, um, um, one of our members, for example, rather than voting in the global primary, is a, she's a, uh, officially, a res she lives here in Japan, but she's from California, so she actually voted absentee in the California primary on Super Tuesday. That's one of your options. That's, that's not Democrats abroad, but that's one of the ways you can vote. For Democrats abroad, from February 5th until February 12th, uh, uh, the 
global presidential primaries being conducted. Uh, one of the ways you can vote in that is by internet ballot. If you registered by January 31st to get an internet ballot, you can vote by internet during that period. You can also, if you registered by January 31st, if you so choose, and if you've made arrangements as of February 1st to get a, a mail ballot or a fax ballot, that's also possible. Which is what I did, I believe. I, I have right. to do a provisionary, uh, a yeah. provisional yeah. ballot. Yeah, yeah. in your case, you uh, there was a slight confusion over the question on the website. It, you ended up getting an internet ballot, but you decided you would rather vote in person. Yeah, because we couldn't do the video on... <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I'm in doing events, so I want to make sure this was yeah. seen in America and yeah. know how we do it. Well, and, and the way it works then is, in order to make sure, this is a very important point actually about the uh, security of the system and the, uh, the integrity of the results, right. okay? Uh, in order to make sure that no one votes twice no and, and, and no duplication, exactly. You were given an internet ballot, you decided not to cast it, you're going to cast the ballot here in person. By our rules, because you received that internet ballot, we give you what is called a provisional ballot to cast here. It will be counted as long as you did not cast your internet ballot. Okay, that ballot and then goes to Geneva. Right, yeah. Right. All, ultimately, all the ballots in Japan first go to Tokyo, then the Tokyo headquarters sends all of them to Geneva. And the same thing happens throughout the world. The country headquarters in every country ultimately sends their results from that country, including literally all the ballots themselves go to Geneva where a final count is done where the, uh, uh, and this is one of the reasons too that we have people fill out their name, address, sign the ballot, date the ballot. This way um, it's possible for the people in Geneva who are doing the final count to confirm that um, these people who, who voted in person did not also vote by internet, did not also vote in an absentee form in their home state or any of those other kinds of things. That's the, it's the audit trail, so to speak. Okay. And then, and by that procedure then, then the, as of, I believe it's, uh, the voting period ends on February 12th for internet ballots and stuff. During this period, for example, uh, Tokyo had an, had an in-person voting center on Tuesday, right. Super Tuesday. We saw the yeah. results there, if I may we, say, eight, Barack Obama got 85 or 83 percent. Yeah, very, very, very big. Very nice. Okay, so I understand yeah. about the uh, like your position the here one and one uh, the secret ballot and all that, yeah. but uh, who'd you vote? <laughs> <laughs> you're on the air. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie, man. I got you. I'm from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Ohio. Oh, yeah. Did you get that? Ohio. Oh, I'm from Alabama. I mean, Alabama. Did you see the newspaper in the World Herald today? I know. Omaha. 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 Just, just a word. Omaha. Tell me about your role here today. First of all, wh where are you in Japan, and how long have you been? Okay. Well, I've been in Japan about 15 years, the whole time in Mie Prefecture. Okay. I live in Seoul right now, okay. and uh, I've been in uh, in the Democrats Abroad uh, Japan for about uh, three years. I joined about 2005 after the last election. So, okay. Great. And I just volunteer and you know, do whatever. I can to get the word out. Get here. Wonderful. So, What's your function here today? Uh, today, today I am uh, giving people their ballots and telling them how they're answering questions. Okay, great, great. What do you do in MEA? Uh, I'm a small business owner. Great. The language business. Language business? Right. right. Okay. Don't we all? <laughs> it's all communication. It is That's indeed, man. International communication. Right. It's my right. life. Right. <laughs> It's a pleasure meeting you. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Say something to the folks back home. Okay, right? so uh, still have to vote, all right? This is just a primary, all right? Yeah. November's the big one, all right? right? So make sure everyone register and vote. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Boy, we on the streets of LA. We will, we will remember, remember that, that there's something happening in America. That we are not as divided as our politics suggest. That we, we are, are one people. That we, we are, are one nation. nation. And together, we will begin the next great chapter in the American story with three words that will ring from coast to coast, from sea to shining sea. Yes, we can. 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 Yes, we can.
I know you don't have to answer this question, and uh, so it's a secret ballot, you know, traditionally in the Democratic. But tell me, why are you voting for Obama? <laughs> <laughs> I did vote for Obama, and uh, multiple reasons. Uh, one reason was his early support against the war. Absolutely. Another reason is I'm inspired by his ability to motivate young people and a diverse group of people uh, around the country. Um, and I think he is the change and the new blood that we need in America. Also, I don't think America is a dynasty country. I don't think we need to have another 10 years of, a, of another Clinton in the White House. Uh, enough already. Um, because if you vote for Hillary, you get Billary. Exactly. You know, that's exactly right. And, 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 and I, you know, we've already had 20 years of two political families. And we need some fresh air. We need some fresh air. And uh, I, I just, and I think that her, I think that her campaign got a little ugly recently, especially, yeah, yeah. and um, that really turned me off. No, can you share your sentiments with us regarding this? Uh, I she voted for Hillary. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> the joke. She's from Vermont. You know she voted for Obama. And I read that something by a writer who wrote about Obama, and it was just really inspiring. Great. And I'm happy to have a new change. Congratulations. Okay. I've been motivated to come out and participate in the process because I think it is time for change. And yes, we can. Yes, yes we can. Yes, we can. So go tell your mamas about the Barack Obamas of the world. <laughs> my mama told me. You know, yes, I to check it out. My mama told her about Obama. He's, he's uh, yeah. a singer. Hey, so you singer. In the video? Yes, that's what I'm singing. Get out. Oh, look at it. Let's get out. That's a great song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She loved it. She said we need to. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. I do have a video. She's got to go. You check out the website. Go to the, go to Tilltown Records and you'll see him performing a song that we're trying to get Obama to pick up called oh, Get Out. Get Out. Yeah, Get Out of Iraq. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's a really good tune. You'll see some an interesting process and we want you people in America to understand how we as expats can uh, maintain our rights to uh, participate in the democratic process in the United States even though we are permanent residents abroad or indefinite residents abroad outside of the United States. Having been motivated to do this in over 30 years in Japan and uh, really inspired by the candidacy of uh, uh, Mr. Barack Obama as are most of the people here. We will remember that there's something yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. We've been alive a long time. Yeah. We will begin the next great chapter in the American story with three words that will ring from coast to coast, from sea to shining sea. Yes. We can, yes, 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 we can. That we are not as divided as our politics suggest. We are one people. We are one, people. We are one nation. And together we will begin the next great chapter in the American story in three words that will bring from coast to coast, from sea to shining sea. Yes, we can. 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 Yes, we can.